Hi, so today I'm going to show you how I made a fantasy painting using AI generated images. Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist on the Simpsons television show. I've been working on the show for over 25 years now and I'm here to empower you. So um, uh, yeah, like right now uh, the AI image generation stuff is, is, um, is very popular. Um, I've been curious about it. I wanted to see what it was all about. Uh, so I got my phone, right? And then I downloaded uh, some, th there's, there's a lot of um, AI uh, uh, image generators on, on, on the phone. I downloaded a few. I found one that I liked. Um, it's called Wonder App and it's free. And so I decided to play around with it. I eventually ended up like uh, uh, paying for, for, for uh, to open it up so I didn't have to watch ads. But because I used it enough so that I was like, I think this is kind of worth my while. So um, I'm only going to be using the one. It's, so it's the Wonder app and I'm only going to be using that. But you could use it for free, uh, which is what I did for a very long time. AI generated images. Why? Why even use them? <clears throat> and so I've been thinking about it and I'm like, OK, if I was going to use this kind of like AI generated stuff, um, it would have to be for like a good reason. Um, and, and, um, and one of those reasons would be because I'm super, super lazy, right? So I'm always looking for shortcuts that will speed up the process uh, so that I can get more images done, for more artwork done, for more paintings done, for more drawings done. Now there's a lot of limitations that AI generated images have. A lot! Like um, I've I've since then uh, downloaded uh, like for example Stable Diffusion, and um, and it's extremely limited. Like it doesn't do what I want it to do, right? Like it doesn't do what I can do. I wanted it to do what I could do, and it doesn't do it because it doesn't. It it, it it's it it's not what a lot of people think it is. Okay, so so one of the things that I was experimenting with, and I was and I wanted to do was okay I, like for example I, I'm like okay so one of the things that I would like I would like to have produced is like say a fantasy painting right like like I, I want to do something like like something that Frank Frazetta would have done right but that for me I could do it but it would take me a long time because um, it's just really time consuming there's a lot that goes into it and then you have to like execute it and the execution itself is a very painstaking and it takes a very long time to do and the amount of time that I've got I got a day job I'm working all the time um, and then the the handful of time that I've got to produce an image that would be that at, at that scale and detail would take a month or two just because of the details um, I don't have that kind of time but I want to see if I can do a piece like that that would sort of come out the way that I would I would like to do. Uh, and and on top of that, here's the thing. Like an image like that, like a like a like a Conan fighting uh, a monster kind of kind of image is something that I would like to have done. But I don't want to do it because I'm not passionate enough to want to do it's not where I live that's not something that I'm dying to do right it's something that I would like to do but it's not something that I am that 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 I'm passionate to do because if it was then I'd be painting like that all the time I'd be doing those kinds of images all the time but it would be something fun to have just done right uh, so that was that's one of the the things I just kind of want to produce something like that, but I don't want to work at it because I don't want to do that because that's not what I want to do because I don't want to spend hours working on something like that because I don't have the passion or drive to do something like that. But if I can spend an, a few hours on it and then have the pro, the thing, then then I'll be I'd be happy with that. So so that was the other thing. That was the other thing that I wanted to do. Like can can I just just crank something out like that 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 will just kind of scratch that itch without spending months and months and weeks because I have really low attention span. That's the other thing. Like, like I get really excited about a thing and then the next day I'm excited about something else. And then the project is abandoned and then I move on to another thing and then the project is abandoned. And then I found that if, uh, if a project takes more than a week or two, 
I'm out. Like, I'm like, just, I don't want to do this anymore. Right. So the faster, the better, because that's when I have all the energy. So can it be done? The answer is yes. And I did it. And I'll show you how I did it. Uh, step by step, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the process. But man, was it, 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 it wasn't, it wasn't as nice as, uh, or, or it wasn't as easy or uh, that as I thought. And there's still work to do. And there's still a lot of, and, and, and there's still, you still need to know how to paint. You still need to know how to draw because you got to fix a lot. And, and, um, and the better programs, you have to fix a little bit less stuff, but you still got to fix a lot. So you got to know what you're doing. You got to know how to paint. You got to know how to draw. You got to know uh, what to look for. I, I was thinking about composition. I was thinking about staging. I was thinking about lighting. I was thinking about, okay, this is, has to be fixed over here. This is going to have to be like this. And, and there's, there's a, there was a lot to do. So if you want to get a, uh, an image that, that you have absolute control over or as close to absolute control over as you possibly can, um, then, um, then it's possible, but you got to put in, you got to put in the work, the, 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 no matter how fancy the image generator is, it's only going to generate the images that, uh, that it generates. And it's not going to generate the images that you would make if you had the skill to make it. And so you have to then take what it gives you and then do what you do in order to make it. Uh, do what you want it to. Uh, you want you want to take it into Photoshop and repaint and fix it and adjust and do all kinds of stuff. So I'll show you how I did it. And um, okay, so here here here's uh, here's the process. All right. So I didn't know what I actually wanted to get out of this. Uh, I I mean I didn't know what the image was supposed to look like. So I just kind of wrote a prompt that said something like barbarian fighting a giant snake. Uh, in Frank Frazetta and John Buscema style, right? And this is the images I got, which was like, where's the giant snake? Uh, I got some barbarians that were okay. And, uh, I, but I didn't know how, what I wanted the final thing to look like. And then I got this image, right? One image. And I liked it enough that I said, maybe something like that. And then I looked over just to make sure that um, Frank Frazetta didn't actually do an image just like it. So I kind of like that. And then I had the AI, I took one, Im the, one of the images that, 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 that it gave me one image and then I put it back into the M AI generator and then I had it do variations on that one image. Um, and, uh, but I didn't like the barbarian. So I took the barbarian from another image and I cut him out like you saw me do. And then I had to erase or re or paint over the the barbarian that was there. So one of the things about that is, is like so so I like this background the best out of all the variations of this particular um, image uh, of the of the guy and the snake in the back. Um, the one that I'm using the background of had the best background, but this barbarian. Um, at first I tried to, as you saw, uh, I tried to paint my own legs and then I'm like, why am I doing this? I'm so lazy. I want to do, the whole point is to be as lazy as possible. So I, I'm like, maybe I can just grab the legs off of other images and then just use that instead. Um, one of the reasons I'm doing that, and that was a long leg, so I put this one in here and this is what's called photo bashing, right? Like. Um, you're basically just cutting the uh, pieces and parts of one thing and putting it together with another to to um, to make a collage, a digital collage of um, uh, of uh, of images into one piece. OK. And by the way, notice how messed up that guy's face is. It's just horrible. But anyway, and he's holding sticks. I mean, come on. It's supposed to be swords. Um, so, uh, uh where, where was I? Oh yeah. So I, I I'm just, uh, I, so it's called photo bashing. And, and so what you do is you put everything together into like kind of this collage thing. And if you notice I'm painting stuff 
in here myself. Like I'm still kind of, and, and it's really sloppy. So what am I doing here? What, what is the, what is the purpose of this part of the process? Well, um, one of the, the interesting things about the app that I'm using and, and one of the things that I really like is that you can, um, take an image, whether it's a, a it's a photo you've taken or an image it, it it generated itself and then you can you can save it on your phone then you upload it back into the app and then have it generate variations which is how i got all the variations of of that one uh, of this of this kind of painting in the first place and um uh and so what i'm doing here is i i'm doing a a a um a version of the image that uh, I'm going to input back into the generator um, <clears throat> to see if it gives me a, a, a final. Like I wanted it to give me a final, finished, more uh, 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 version of, of this image. So I'm doing a very, very, very sloppy job of just putting the elements where I want them to be. I, I generated, uh, I, I typed in snakes um, off screen. It took me a while uh, just so that I could add to the, the snake because I because because the the serpent that was uh, there was no serpents in, in that were good in 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 the in the images I I, I got. So I just needed just serpents alone, and I like the idea that the snake was on the uh, on the on the stone there. But uh, that the 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 image that gave me the idea that the snake should be on the stone uh, had a very crummy um, snake body. So I cut the the snake off of a different image, and then I just photo bashed it, like you know, just kind of put it in there, warped it all in there, and then I. And I using using masks and 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 and, and uh, the mesh tool on Clip Studio, um, I I I'm, I put the I put the the snake on the on the stone. Um, and and I try to match the snake that I have there, but I don't like it. So um, uh, oh, and then there's that, and and the and so it didn't look like it was in the in with the, the right stone. So I needed, so I took that this stone. Oh yeah, and oh, I needed stone texture because um, I didn't want to paint the stone myself. Like if you notice, I, I did a I did a really sloppy job of of the uh, of adding stone there. So I, I just added more stone from a different image, just stretched it out. Um, I took this snake because I thought it would be a better snake. Because again, like I'm just using what I've got as an asset, and I'm like, well, this one, and then I put it in there, and um, eh, eh, I need a better snake. So um, I like this black one, so I cut out this snake, and this whole cutting out stuff is a pain in the neck. It just takes forever. You're just slowly cutting it's like you know like a collage you're just using your scissors to cut the cut the uh the the the, the image you want and then you're going to glue it onto your your image um and and i thought maybe this one too so i i i'll, I'll take this snake here and uh with the weird teeth i'll just cut the teeth out and i don't like those and uh i'll just Eventually, I got a little bit sloppier uh, with my cutting uh, the image, just to use the. Uh, but but so I like this head a lot more, and um, I'm like eh, and then I got rid of it. Um, <clears throat> so I like this head, but I it, 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 because this head was kind of black purple. I'm like I kind of like the black purple. I kind of like it. So um, I'm going to I'm going to change the color of the skin on uh, uh, of the serpent to to purple um, and uh, and uh, and try to match the body with the head because they're I mean, they didn't match. So I'm like, hey, uh, mm, uh, gotta, gotta, uh. so um, I cut I, I, I cut around the thing and then I just kind of made the 
mesh tool and then I kind of try to fit the body with the head and 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 and, and did all you know and again this is supposed to be sloppy it's not supposed to be perfect because uh, I'm this image is specifically made just to be put back into the AI generator so that it could give me a different version and I did do that and it turns out because I wanted it to like be like this is the final right well, it didn't turn out that way. In fact, when I did finally put this image into the AI generator, um, it was worse. But what it did do was it gave me, um, uh, I zoomed in very, very tight on that guy's face. And then I was able to uh, have it generate a better face. And so, um, and, and um, I zoomed in very tight on the serpent and I had it, give me a better serpent so so at least that but but if, if for the for the full when i did the full thing it was actually horrible but when i zoomed into parts of it and then i had it regenerate the details of things um it was much more successful and then i could cut in the better pieces so that was cool um that that was helpful and so uh, I was like, okay, well, this this body of the serpent is better than the body that I've got, but and 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 this face is better than the one that I've got, and this. So I, I kind of combined two different serpents to make the one, and um and and so one of the unexpected things that happened, uh, the happy accident that did happen was that one of the versions that it generated uh, um, off of uh, off of my 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 my. Uh, my version my was that it gave me a better pose and that was like i think i like this pose this one right here i like that more see this is a and so um i decided to replace the other one and use this pose instead but then look how messed up that hand that face is so i had to re-input this that that face uh that and then and I had it re regenerate that face until it gave me something that I liked. Uh, it gave me a few, um, but this is the one that I liked the most. So I just, like I said, I, I, I'm photo bashing it in. I'm putting it, I'm combining those two different, different images to make the one. And then, um, and so I'm checking and I'm like, okay, well, this is okay. Uh, oh, and then I and have to and I have to give this version instead the swords, and um, and 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 then the and okay and the swords. So I had to generate swords too. I, I wrote swords. Um, they gave me a bunch of crappy swords. You're gonna see them in a moment. Um, but here, but and I'm looking for there they are. I'm looking for blades. I'm looking for swords. I'm like, yeah, you know what. Uh, so I, I just kind of want, like I said, like I, I'm being lazy. I don't want to do the work. I just want the, the machine to do the work for me and, and just and me just kind of collaging it and putting it all together. And, um, and this didn't work. So I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to have to do it myself because uh, this is not going to work. Um, so there's a, there was a, there's a lot. There was a lot to fix because the anatomy is off. There's some distortions in the anatomy, in the muscles, and the lighting, and the hands, and the feet. Um, and so what I needed to do was go into my uh, understanding of painting um, and, and, and everything that I, that I know about painting. And what I'm going to end up having to do is fix a lot of stuff. Like, for, for example, the snake. What am I doing here? Well, part of the problem here is that uh, the serpent, the snake, um, didn't look like it was in the background. It had the same um, contrast and saturation as the um, as the figure in the foreground, and it's meant to be a little bit further back. So I added what is called um, uh, 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 atmospheric perspective, right? Um, it's it it, it, uh, it means that it's a little bit further back, so so the atmosphere around it is a little bit more bluer, like like it's a little bit further back because the further back something is, the more the more it goes away. And here I am fixing the anatomy of the shoulder. It's totally off. This is like the the muscles in the wrong spot. 
I'm like, eh, this is my son. So I got to repaint the muscle, make it look okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to not be so bad. Um, and then I added um, uh, some some rim light, and then here I am uh, putting an eyeball in there. Um, uh, but but there's there's a lot of that sort of thing where you're like okay well I gotta I gotta draw an eyeball it's not like the AI is gonna I'm gonna put in the AI generator I type in eyeball and it's gonna put an eyeball in there I did um, I I distorted the 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 eye socket you saw so that I could actually put an eyeball in there and um, I, I'm just doing this out of the top of my head I'm not I'm not even looking at at anything. Um, which, which, like, like a lot of this stuff, like I probably should have just been doing. I should have had like paintings of serpents, and I mean, not paintings, but photos of serpents and vipers and things like that. Right now, I'm so this is completely um, uh, anatomically incorrect. I'm just making up a serpent face there, uh, based off of just that. Um, adding more texture to the rock. Um, uh, oh, so one of the problems that I was having, see, because I have these really blotchy, obviously, um, just I, I, I've j I'm, I'm obviously repainting and painting over things in the background. The problem is that the background has the 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 the, the AI generated background has a lot of like interesting textures in it, and my paint overs my brush strokey things look really flat and have no textures they're just like you know blotchy brush strokey things with no textures so um i needed to try to uh, because now because i know now that that it's not gonna match uh that that the ai isn't gonna that this is the final that this is gonna be the final image that what i'm doing is the final image and not and i'm not gonna feed it into the ai because the ai is not gonna be able to do it so um, now I'm actually adding f final touches to this image because this is the image I'm going to use. So I'm using, I'm taking pieces, bits and pieces from from this image and other images to add the texture onto the background so that my blotchy brush strokes have textures so that it matches the um, the, the AI generated uh, image here. So that's what I'm adding. I'm adding textures uh, to all of that uh, background uh, so that it so that it looks like it's all of a piece. And um, because, like I said, I'm, I'm actually this is going to be the final. Uh, another thing I'm, I'm doing here is uh, I, instead of hiding the feet, I'm just going to show the feet. And, and there was an image that 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 was generated by the AI that had uh, the the figure actually standing on the ground. Here I am adding fangs, or, or at least, um, yeah, so adding fangs and, and a little bit of uh, gums on the on the serpent. Again, I should have looked at some uh, reference, but um, notice that now he's standing on the ground. Okay, and then now uh, I fixed the anatomy on the shoulder, and now I'm trying to fix the anatomy on the arm. Um, uh, and so I, you know, uh, using uh, painting techniques, uh, I'm doing the arm fix. Uh, I didn't know if it was going to turn out. I, I thought that maybe I was I was doing it wrong and it was going to turn out horrible, but it turned out all right. I, I, I fixed it up a little. I fixed that muscle up anyway. The wrist and the hand is still a horrible mess. And um, and I don't know if I did a good job fixing it in, at, in the end anyway. Because hands are a pain in the neck. I'm adding some rim light here. I did adjust some of the lighting and some of the anatomy and the rest of it. I'm, I'm fixing his his face. There's just some weird stuff going on in his face. His eyes are all messed up. So I have him actually looking at the snake. Um, I increased the size of the image because I was getting super pixely image. It, it, it didn't look good. Um and see notice how like this background you can see the guy's face from from the previous um image uh still in there so i grabbed some of this rock and i just covered him up um you could you saw his ghost through the through the image there and again uh, uh the sword i decided well might as well just do it myself because um 
Yeah. And and the benefit of doing uh, this is that it, it's 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 generally rough. Like the style that I'm going for has a rough painterly look. So I don't have to be absolutely precise. I could still leave things kind of blotchy and and vague and a little bit off and 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 and, and I didn't mind. Um, but right now I'm not, now I'm doing the 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 uh, my fixes layer where I'm I'm act actively repainting stuff that I don't like. Uh, I didn't want to do a hand honestly. I just didn't want to, so I had it regenerate a, a hands, and then um, and then I I, I kind of well, photo bashed the hand in, but it's still not right. So um, I still have to fix. It. I still have to paint the hand and fix it which was again at least at least it gave me 90 percent of what i wanted ish uh, i had to fix these packs here um and 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 again like i, I don't know i think the wrist is still off the feet uh, i had to fix the feet uh, they were they were a disaster i could have had it regenerate feet but you know what uh, I'll just do it myself. Um, the 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 thing is that that it, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be better than it was. It could still be rough. Um, uh, needed to at least make it look like he's holding swords that were in, in some way the same. Um, and then I realized that the hilt on that one was way too long, so I just made it smaller, shorter, and um, and then I had to fix this hand, which was an absolute mess. Um, I don't know how, how much better, uh, my version was, but, um, but at least it's not an absolute mess. It just needed to be the, the right impression. Like I said, it, it, all of the, see, so there's, there's like, and, and there, that's it. Like, so it's still a little bit rough. Um, it still needs a little bit, uh, work here and there, but I think that's it. Like, I, I don't want to do any more. Um, it, it um. Uh, it, 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 uh, it's, it's, uh, it, it's, as, it's good enough, right? That's, that's the, 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 the idea here. So <clears throat> one of the things, um, that I learned was that, uh, uh, it's still a lot of work, uh, but it's way less work because here's the thing. Okay. So this would have taken me, I don't know, a month or two to do because of the amount of time that I actually have to do something like this. Um, and uh, and again, I don't have the passion to do something like this, so it probably would have taken me forever because I, I, it would have been like pulling teeth to work on something like this. But uh, it turned out that it took about ta -da -da -da, five hours. It took about five hours to do this. Uh, actual work time. Like the, the recording was five hours long. But, um, but the... AI generating at the assets, like it's just like the finding assets and, and having generated the assets, that's about six hours of generating assets that, uh, and 90% of the assets generated are garbage and were thrown in the trash kind of thing. Um, and all the, and, and, but there, it's just hours and hours of generating assets to photo bash into one image. Um, so the, the, it'll be interesting to try to actually sketch out a drawing, um, and then and then uh, and then do a color comp or something, and then have the have the computer generate assets for for that. I don't know if if that that would work better, uh, and it'll have more control. But definitely, um, it wasn't like. But in this this experiment was I don't know what I want. Give me some ideas, computer. Uh, it generated a bunch of garbage. And then it gave me one image that was sort of there, and then I had it do iterations on that image, and it and 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 there and there was one version with a good background, and then I was like, okay, I think that I can start working with. And then I, um, like I said, I grabbed the one one barbarian from one image, and then I put it all together uh, to in, in one pass. I, ha I put it back into the computer to see if it gave me better ideas. Uh, it gave me a better pose, and then I implemented that pose. And uh, but uh, and, and it gave me a better serpent in one part, but a better 
body and another, and then I had to put it all together. So it's all, it, 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 it it's, it's a little bit like, uh, like visual jazz, like, like you're just like, uh, somebody's giving you a tune and then you're, you're just kind of playing with it. And then you're, you're, you're going along with it and then you, you're taking it somewhere. Uh, so that's kind of what this process was like. So I, um, but, but again, like you still need to know what you're doing. You saw me repaint a lot. You saw me fix a lot of anatomy. You saw me, um, do painting. Like I, I did a lot of painting here. Uh, not, a, not a ton, but I did have to fix a lot and, and it's still not absolutely perfect, but it doesn't, I didn't want it to be. I kind of wanted it to be rough and sketchy and kind of, kind of a little off is fine. I, it, it, what, it, I don't, I'm not going for photorealism here. I just wanted to, to do something a little bit just fun and, and, and kind of rough. So, uh, that's it. Um, as far as satisfaction, uh, it, it, it's okay. It's an okay, satisfying feeling. It's not a it, because it's not a hundred percent me. So I'm gonna, I'll have to think. I'll have to see how how I could get the the one hundred percent me part down, and make it work. Um, all right, so uh, that's it for me. Hopefully, you learned uh, something, and um, I will talk to you next time. All right, bye.